General Hospital spoilers reveal that new evidence confirming Esme's survival has turned all previous doubts and speculation into reality. This revelation not only shocks Port Charles, but also sets the stage for a new, complex chapter. Esme's survival marks not just her return, but also raises countless questions about what she has endured and the plans she is scheming. Heather, who has clung to the hope of reuniting with Esme, immediately prepares herself for her daughter's return. However, with her sharp, calculating instincts, Heather knows she cannot handle this alone. She is ready to seek allies, someone who can help her navigate the potential chaos that Esme's reappearance may bring. Yet this choice could place Heather in jeopardy, as those she trusts may have their own hidden agendas. Esme's return is not merely a personal reunion, but a seismic event that ripples through the relationships and power dynamics in Port Charles. The secrets Esme holds, coupled with her complex bond with Heather, could plunge them both into a whirlwind of schemes and vengeance. This tale is no ordinary family reunion. It sets the stage for a gripping and unpredictable narrative where loyalty, intrigue, and buried secrets take center stage. Heather and Esme now face an uncertain future, where every decision could lead to unforeseen consequences. After learning that Heather is living with Stephen in Sedona, Esme unexpectedly changes her plans and decides to abandon the revenge plots that once consumed her. Instead, Esme shifts her focus to a new goal, reuniting with her mother and building a new life alongside Heather and Stephen. This decision marks a significant turning point in Esme's journey and raises many questions among those who were once her victims or allies. Is this truly a transformation for Esme, or merely a temporary facade to conceal deeper, more sinister intentions? Esme's presence in Sedona threatens to disrupt the tranquility Heather and Stephen have worked to establish, especially as Esme's complex and often manipulative nature begins to surface. Heather, torn between her love for her daughter and her own troubled past, is sure to face new challenges with Esme entering her life. Meanwhile, Stephen, with his reserved demeanor and stable lifestyle, may find himself drawn into the chaos Esme brings. Will Esme's decision to move to Sedona truly represent a fresh start, or is it the first step in a deeper, more calculated scheme? This seemingly peaceful family dynamic could soon become the epicenter of unexpected tensions and conflicts, as Esme seeks to shape her future on her own terms. Esme and Stephen begin to suspect that old enemies in Port Charles may still be watching them, and could pose a serious threat. While trying to maintain peace in Sedona, the two can't shake the feeling that those who once opposed them might seek revenge or disrupt the life they are building. Heather, now under Esme and Stephen's protection, becomes the focal point of this tension. Ensuring Heather's safety becomes their top priority, and when Stephen confirms that all immediate dangers have been neutralized, the family begins to consider a bold move, returning to Port Charles. Their return is not merely a reappearance, but a calculated strategy. Esme and Stephen understand that to secure their position and protect their family, they must confront their enemies head-on rather than continue hiding. The close alliance between the three, Esme, Stephen, and Heather, promises to establish a new, powerful, and dangerous force in Port Charles. However, their return will not be without complications. With a tangled past and fraught relationships, Esme and Stephen must face numerous challenges as they navigate their way back. Can they rebuild their standing, protect Heather, and confront their old enemies without being drawn into a new spiral of danger? Or will their reappearance ignite a fresh wave of conflict in Port Charles? The answer lies in the carefully calculated moves they are preparing to make. Trina and Portia are facing a terrifying new threat as a series of mysterious and brutal events unfold in Port Charles. As they work to understand what is happening, a chilling truth begins to emerge. It seems that the Hook, the infamous killer who once terrorized the town, might have returned. And this time, Esme could be the one behind the new mask. The re-emergence of the Hook sends shockwaves through Port Charles, pulling Trina and Portia into the heart of the chaos. Strange murders begin to occur with familiar methods, but new, unsettling details suggest that this iteration of the killer is even more dangerous. Trina, with her sharp instincts and determination, starts to suspect that Esme's mysterious return might be connected to these events. 
if Esme has indeed taken on the mantle of the hook, she is not just seeking revenge on those who wronged her, but also using the identity to cement her power and spread chaos. With her cunning and manipulative nature, Esme could wield the name of the hook to unleash a storm of crime, targeting both old foes and new victims. Portia, driven by a fierce protective instinct for her daughter, realizes that Trina might be one of Esme's intended targets. Together, mother and daughter must join forces to face the escalating threat. Meanwhile, the Port Charles police, including Dante and Jordan, are racing against time to uncover the truth before the hook strikes again. The pressing question is, can Trina and Portia protect themselves from this danger, and is Esme truly the person behind the, the hook mask? Or will this story unravel into a series of complex and unexpected twists, plunging everyone into a new cycle of peril? The battle to unmask the killer will undoubtedly become the focal point of the dramatic events unfolding in Port Charles.